Boy, wow. that was awesome and easy. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Hey, welcome to Motorhead Garage. Well, folks, you just saw something pretty impressive here. You know, one of the things with these big rigs is keeping the wheels tight. And if they happen to loosen up, it creates a lot of damage on these studs. Trying to remove these studs is a problem, isn't it, Sam? That's right. And these studs, you know, they fail from being over torqued. Guys get into that big one inch drive impact gun, have no idea how many foot pounds of torque. These things call for 500 foot pounds. Also, if they weren't installed properly, you know, to take them out, a lot of guys would just want to bang them out with a hammer. That's bad for the hub, it's bad for the bearings, you don't want to do it. No, well, what we have here is Kirk Jansen here with Tiger Tool has got the perfect tool to remove these studs. Speaking of studs, I'm going to get some. Okay. All right, Kirk. Show me this tool here. Now, I just watched it in operation, and that was pretty darn impressive. It saved, could save a lot of time. Yeah, what we've done is developed a tool basically to bring the vise and the, or the press over to the truck. Mm -hmm. Don't have to remove the hub. Saves your uh, wheel seals, your oil. You don't have to drain anything. Uh, it's the easiest way to do it. You've got to take off that hub. That creates a lot of extra work. And then, of course, you've got to take, put the hub on a press, press those things out, put new ones in. So it takes a lot of extra time. Yep, and can cost a lot of extra money, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you can pop these things out, and then tell me about your tool here now. So let me see what this looks like. This is your, uh, this is the unit. Yep, we've got our 10-ton Interpac hydraulic press. And cylinder. these aren't light, folks. These are a little heavy. <laughs> no, it's a heavy-duty frame. Uh, we've got our C-frame casting, very, you know, very standard design. I've got a, a removal adapter for this particular hub. It's not flat on the back, mm -hmm. much like the drive wheels are. Um, so we have two different adapters for that. And then we've got our air over hydraulic pump. It's a, a Interpac XA11 pump. Foot operated, so it's easy to uh, take yep. care of. And you got all the adapters for this as well. That's correct. Tiger Tool makes all kinds of great tools. Here's a manual version you can use with your air wrench. And of course, it comes in a box with all the adapters and they make a great of impact guns this happens to be a three-quarter inch drive 850 foot pounds of torque or more and you know a lot of guys also will try to drive these things back in like Dave said take it all apart put it in a press that's a lot of work when you hammer it in if you bend over this flange while you're hammering it then you can't get the secede all the way back and of course you torque it and you ride down the road, it starts to work and you got a wheel coming loose well you know if, you, if that thing starts to stretch a little bit right or work loose you lose about what, a three, three thousand of an inch or yep. something? And it's important because it leaves about 30,000 pounds of pressure. Because some guys will put them in there and put a socket and a wrench, use an impact gun to drive it in. You're already yielding the threads, you're damaging the stud, you're not doing yourself any yeah. favors. And he's got a good point, he's got a wire brush. Yeah. We'll just clean up the back side of the hub here, make sure there's no you know, paint or rust. In this case, it's an aluminum hub, so there's no rust. Make sure there's no imperfections before we put the new stud in. All right, so you put your new stud in, and then yep. what you do, you just take and convert Offer. this around, put a different adapter in it? Yeah, that's correct. I'll put our proper install adapter. It's just a flush, flat adapter. Okay. We'll remove the uh, push adapter, which threads out of the cylinder. Okay. Reapply or reinstall this one here. There you go. That's pretty simple. Yep. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, I've never seen a lifesaver like this. So this is the only time we use a hammer, just to... Just to tap it into place so Just it holds steady. It yep. Okay. So then we have our install tube. Slides right over top. This is an M22 by 1.5 stud, so that's the proper uh, fit for that. Okay. So then we take this, slide my pump over. Just set it over the back of the head. Line up your hole. Ten thousand psi installed. That looks great. You can change ten studs in twenty minutes, huh? That's right. All less. Yep. That's great. Here's some more studs. There you go. Now, what's the rule on some of this? Uh, if you have a stud that uh, is bad and you have to remove it and works loose, what's the rule on that? If you have a failed stud, you're supposed to, uh, you know, remove the ones on either side. Of right. It, so you're replacing three studs. That's what I thought. Yep. yep. Okay. okay. Works out pretty well. Yep. And all you need to do is when you put your wheel back on. Follow the manufacturer's instructions, lube between the nut and the washer, and torque it properly. That's all you have to do. Yep. And that torque is important. Right. Well, uh, Kirk, I appreciate you guys stopping by. That is a fantastic tool that you have. Oh, thank you. Really glad you got that here, and hope you leave it for us. We're yeah. going to take a break. <laughs> I know. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.